friends. Mm -hmm. Um, this is going to be a talk over video because I was just playing around doing some tiles. Uh, and then I realized like these tiles are nice and there's like a really good learning with how to layer and stuff like that. So stay tuned and let's learn about layering to get the most popping cells where your opaque should go. Um, things like that. So I hope you enjoy. Bye. Okay, this will be like a fun voiceover because I actually painted these a few days ago, so I hope I remember what I've done. That is a neon, and that is... Oh, my camera was moving. That's a TLP neon, okay? That is Amsterdam Blue Violet. And by the way, I think I used all two bees in this one, no piggies. That is Triart um, Carbon Black. And that is Yinmin Blue, the most expensive, one of the most expensive paints. Um, none of these are opaque so far. These are all um, semis. And so let's see what happens with all of these semis together. That's a um, Payne's Gray Cell Activator, by the way. I mean, pretty good standard blowing, you know what I mean? I find sometimes, especially if you're beginning, um, using two paints and not using any pigments is much easier because the consistencies will be the same, your cells will be stronger. Um, so that looks kind of dark. Let's see what I did there. That Yinmin Blue is definitely um, powerful. And especially, I love it over the neon pink. I think that's boogie. You'll have to check. Um, so that was the first one. I'm spinning it out. And you know I spin until the paint doesn't move anymore. Now, it is a bit dark, isn't it? Um, let's see if I have any definition um, of peacock cells. I don't have that many because there wasn't an opaque there um but it's pretty electric anyways so let's see what i did for the next one by the way my pillow paint is that sherwin williams color to go just a white one and i usually add a little water to thin it out um that's been working well for me sometimes i add a bit too much water but even when i do it's not horrible so that is um, Australian Red Violet by Matisse. Let's see what I did next. I have no idea. And we're going with a Triart Warm White, which by the way is opaque. So we have an opaque on the second one. Then we're laying that boogie on top of that one. And then the black on top of this one. Oh, by the way, I lied to you. I think the carbon black is opaque. Um, I'm just used to, used to using the other black that isn't opaque. And the Yinmin Blue, and I'm really loading it on. That's probably about $5 worth right there. Let's see if layering two opaques within the tile make a difference. Now, when, by the way, when I do these, um, I tend to not put too much pillow paint down because I don't want to have to spend too much because I do want those cute little cells in the middle to kind of stay where they're at. So how did that go? So you see that line of that warm white on top because it is opaque. That's why you have to be careful of using opaque paints in your bloom because they do t tend to leave a powerful mark where you don't blow through them, which is helpful how you get the peacock cells. But if there are pieces that you don't blow over, um, they'll be very strong like you can see that white line sometimes it's cool and then again sometimes you don't want a big white line so let's see if we like this one it's still not bad like i'm really actually loving the pink and the blue together uh here's my little close-up why am i it looks like I'm spinning quite vigorously. Uh, but I guess I do spin quite vigorously, don't I? 
I don't mind those color blocks sometimes. And you see, actually, I think you see that within the carbon block as well. So I guess that's a good um, exercise in showing you what happens when you don't blow through your opaque paints. You get those kind of marks that are just, they're fine, but you know, may, you may not want them. All right, let's see what we're doing next. I mean, pretty good lessons so far with opaque paints, right? People are scared of opaque paints and I, I get why. Um, and there is no rhyme or reason. It is just that you have to be careful where you put them. Some people say you have to put them on the first layer to ground things. You really don't. Um, but you could, but definitely not necessary. I tend to always start with piggies because um, I like to have that shining through the middle. So there is my Matisse and the warm white again. What am I going to do differently this time? Carbon black. Okay. Maybe I'm just going to blow differently. Who knows? And the Yinmin blue. Okay, we get it. And that's it. What? Oh, I eliminated this time the neon for some reason. I guess I wasn't liking that vibe. Even though two minutes ago, I, I literally said it looked nice from what it looked like here. But who knows what I was thinking, right? Sometimes, though, there could be a paint. Maybe I didn't like. See how my pillow paint's coming up? Um, perhaps there's sometimes a paint that throws off the whole vibe of your whole thing. And I'm saying, oh, look, those are nice cells. <laughs> I probably. Um, sometimes if you have, like, one paint that's just, like, not behaving you can eliminate it. Sometimes if a paint sits around for a long time and, and you've had to add a lot of Josonia to thin it out, it could throw off the balance. So you never really know. I don't remember why I didn't die. I discarded that. And that, I'm guessing that's probably why I was probably throwing off my blow and everything because it was too thin. Oh, so here I am spinning, spinning, spinning. Let's see if this one's better. Well, this one doesn't have that white line of the warm white, which is good. It has, you can see the white. So oh, let's see what I'm doing cells. next. I really Ooh. have no idea, which is right, fine, nice. isn't it? Kind of living on the edge. I feel like at a certain point I introduce a new color, but I mean, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, let's start, oh. That's nice. See, new color, a little yellow. I think I'm, oh, that's Hansa yellow and I added white to it. That is um, Thalo Green Light by Golden. And then we're gonna do Shadow Green. Oh, I'm going a totally different route. So by the way, that Thalo Green Light was opaque. And then we have Cobalt Teal, which is opaque. And then, ooh, I have this, um, that's a Holbein Jaune Brillant, and I added, it looks more pink, I added white to it, and that's my cell activator. So let's see how I do on this one. All right, nice cells popping up, yep. So this one, I topped with an opaque. So you'll see this has more opaques than the previous ones that I've done. So there should be more peacock cells if I blew the paint properly. So by the way, most pigments, at least for TLPs, for piggies, are transparent except for the neons, which are opaque. So let's see how I did with this one. Okay. Yep. I see those peacock. Yes. Look at the bottom right there. There's some nice peacock cells. And then I keep spinning again. And you're going to see some really cute ones. So again, the trick to layering with opaques to get peacock cells, by the way, if you don't know, peacock cells are when the paint surrounds the cell and makes a really nice outline is to layer your opaques properly. Again, you can start with an opaque that won't really do anything for you. You can put one in the middle 
and it will create something nice. Or you can be really um, brave and then put one in the middle and on top to see what you get. So let's see how we did here. Yep, you see all those cuties? I like them. Those are some good peacock cells. All right, and man, I sure was popping out those coasters, wasn't I? Um, let's see what I do on this one. I hope you guys are liking this voiceover. I never do voiceovers, but I just figured there was so much action going on with all these coasters. I should put it together for you and talk about what I'm doing and why. If I remember why. All right, so we got that Hansa yellow again. And then we have the phthalo green light. I guess I didn't like something about it, so we're doing it again, but changing it slightly. So I wonder what we're changing. Sometimes I do the exact same thing and just my blow wasn't good. And I'm guessing that's what happened this time. Oh, no, teal. Yeah, I did that last time. I think my last blow, maybe there was some pillow that came up. Oh, no, I know what I'm about to do. Yinmin Blue, the most expensive paint that... That tube was $150 US. Um, so I'm hoping maybe that will give it a fun pop of color. Let's see. Of course, when I use this paint, I try to blow out so perfectly so I don't make a mistake. But already that's looking kind of much better than having the light paint on top. If you remember, the last one I topped with a light paint and it was there, it was all kind of light colors, and this could having a darker color on top really give it a pop of color it's really fun to play with lights and darks meaning i usually layer from light to dark but sometimes layering from dark to light can also be very interesting so that's where there, there's no real rules you just kind of go with what you feel like all right so we've got some cells there um, let's see the close up there after I've spin it to heaven. <laughs> um, and do we like it? No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. I think I like it. Like making myself dizzy watching this. Uh, yes, I do indeed like it. Look at that, right? It's giving good color. There's like a bit of pillow. Uh, but it's not too shabby for me. All right, what are we doing next? I feel like, again, we're going to introduce a, a new a new color of some sort. Hmm, let's see. I went to go get something, so that's, that's a fun clue, but I don't know what I went to go get in that moment. Uh, oh, maybe I went to go get more paint. <laughs> All right, so yes, we have the pillow paint down. Then what are we doing? I don't know. I'm a crazy person. Uh, all right. Oh, we're back. <laughs> we're back to the, um, you know, Matisse, Australian red violet. And then we're, oh, we're back to that Holbein brillant jaune. Then we, oh, we're throwing in the greens, greens and reds. I'm crazy. Uh, then we have the phthalo green light. Oh, I'm just going off the wall here. Then we have the carbon black. Oh, what's going to happen? I bet I throw the Yinmin blue on top of there. I bet that's... Oh, look at that. Yinmin blue. Yep. I, and I think we're going to blow it out and just see something crazy. Because those colors I would never put together. The reason I was also doing this, when I started blooming however long ago four years ago, maybe, um, I didn't have, I had like, you know, Liquitex paints or whatever. And I would just use to practice whatever I had. And I would throw crazy colors together, but that I, that's how I got like such cool things because I really did not at the time follow in your rules. Cause I was just practicing blooming and getting cells. So you definitely sometimes have to throw caution to the wind even though it's hard these days and it's especially hard when you're big going big but you know what doing it on coasters makes your life so much easier all right let's spin it out and see 
what I did. Was this crazy combo worth it? I'm, I don't know. I can't tell yet. Let's see. That Yinmin Blue certainly makes everything pop. By the way, if you don't want to spend $150, uh, Ultramarine Blue is very similar and it's just fine. But look at that. Okay. I mean, that's looking pretty cool, right? I think so. Yeah. Crazy color combo. All right. We're spinning it again. So there's some lessons there, you know, um, I'm not sure what they are, but they were in there. So, <laughs> so I hope you learned one and I have no idea what is going to happen next. Oh, I'm showing you the close up. Oh, that was just in the wrong spot. But there, look, there's a close up of the very first one. And for some reason, I didn't like the neons. So guys, please here, I'm going to show you some still shots of them. Did you like this? I hope you learned something. Like, share, subscribe. Tell me if you want more voiceovers. Bye.